Okay, well, Desktop Scrivener allows you to do something really interesting. You can split a document or your editor window so that you can display more than one document. Uh, you can either display the same document at different places. So if you want to reference something that you wrote earlier as you're writing below, you can do that. Or you can open two documents at once. So if you want to reference something that you wrote in the past far up in your, in your binder, uh, you can do that as well. I do this when I'm writing my author's notes for my story that I write on my blog on Tuesdays. Uh, I also have discovered, if you look in my on my blog, that you can open up a different window so that if you're in composition mode, which is kind of like the full screen Zen mode writing for Scrivener, uh, that you can have another document open in a small window like that. But I've always wondered if you could do that in iOS now that Scrivener is out for that, and it turns out you can. And this is how you do it. Uh, first off, I have one document open here in my editor window. And you can see that right there. I'll just type hello, even though I'm going to delete that later. I'll close that. And now I can open up another one in my binder by swiping to or from the right to the left, going more, and then saying quick reference. This brings this up for viewing only. So you can't edit in here, but at least you can view. You can see how small that is. So if you want to actually widen it, it's actually just a couple of taps. And you go back and now you have almost about a third of the screen there and you can reference something. That's a really cool trick if you are writing in Scrivener. This only works on the iPad as far as I know, uh, but it's pretty dang cool.